After night, Beto sits in a car, Hamilton sits in a car, and Mazepin spins in a car. In-season testing has been banned in Formula 1 for over a decade, but Ferrari have been testing at Fiorano the last 5 days. Ferrari have been very busy since last weekend's Emilia-Romagna Grand Prix as Carlos Sainz, Mick Schumacher and Callum Eilard completed hundreds of kilometers around Ferrari's own test track in Fiorano. They have been using the 2018 Ferrari machine which means the Italian manufacturer is not breaching any testing regulations. FIA rules state that there are no restrictions for teams to test cars as long as they are more than 2 years old. With preseason testing limited to just 3 days this year, Ferrari will not lose anything from testing signs in an older car and have everything to gain even if it's a minor advantage. This is F1 and it's always about the marginal gains. Testing with older cars does not count towards the budget cap of $145 million. The big advantage Ferrari have is the ability to test on their own track whereas other teams would have to rent a circuit in order to do the same thing. It will be interesting to see whether the rest of the grid decides to test 2 year old cars in the future and whether Ferrari will continue to test throughout the season. Red Bull have recruited a senior figure from rivals Mercedes to lead their new Formula 1 engine program. Ben Hodkinson, head of mechanical engineering at Mercedes high performance powertrains will become technical director at Red Bull's equivalent department. It is being set up close to the chassis factory in Milton Keynes to take over the running of Honda's engines. Honda will quit F1 at the end of the current season. They have sold their engines and intellectual property to Red Bull. He is currently tied to Mercedes until the end of 2022, although typically in these situations, the two parties tend to negotiate terms for an early release. The sport is working on defining a new engine formula that will increase the proportion of power provided by electrical energy and also use fully sustainable carbon neutral fuels. Hodkinson has been working at Mercedes's engine base at Brixford for two decades and before that developed engines in both the World Rally Championship and for Le Mans. Nikita Mazepin says Formula 1 is a world of every man for himself. In fact, the has of one team rookie says that he doesn't even have a simulator with the team for training and practice. Meanwhile, Mazepin believes his teammate Mick Schumacher probably has access to a simulator. The Russian rookie has also taken a lot of heat for his on and off track behavior of late including being accused of breaking gentlemen's agreements between the drivers. His latest breach of F1 etiquette was overtaking Antonio Giovinazzi in qualifying. It was a move that earned him a strong rebuke by the Alfa Romeo driver who accused the 22 year old Mazepin of disrespect. After his troubled start to his F1 career, Mazepin admits Sunday's Emilia Romagna Grand Prix at Imola was psychologically exhausting in the circumstances and slippery conditions. Mazepin finished 17th, two laps behind race winner Max Verstappen. Mazepin also tried to address the fact that unlike his teammate Mick Schumacher, he is unable to prepare for the next race at Portimao in a proper F1 team simulator. When asked if Schumacher, a Ferrari Driver Academy product, is permitted to use the Ferrari simulator, Mazepin said probably yes, but since he is not part of the Ferrari Driver Academy, he can't enjoy the same privilege. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Apart from that, I hope you're an awesome day and um, bye bye.